All right, so circuits come in a couple different flavors that you're going to need to learn to recognize. Um, there's uh, two really main types of circuits, series and parallel. Uh, and then we also just need to be able to recognize the combinations of series and parallel, and then recognize a couple of things that are just bad circuits. That circuits, circuits that won't work uh, or um, aren't what they seem at first because some kind of mistake was made. So to recognize a series parallel, what you want to see is that you have um, uh, more than one resistor uh, along a path. So if the if the charge if a charge leaving the battery has to go through more than one resistor, it's probably series. So starting with uh, uh, let's find a series one. Here is a series circuit right there. Uh, it's uh, series because if a positive charge was leaving the battery and going through here, uh, it would have to go through this resistor. Then it would have to go through uh, resistor B before it could get back to the battery. So it must be in series because it has to go through multiple. Look through it, see if you can spot the other series battery or the other series circuit. And here it is right here. Uh, it has to go through this one, then that one, then that one. Since it has to go through multiple resistors before it can return to the battery, it's in series. Uh, you can actually even have batteries in series because uh, it have to go through multiple batteries uh, along a circuit. Uh, parallel circuits uh, have more than one one plus paths. So if you see that a charge could go this way or that way, that would make it a parallel circuit. Uh, so looking for a parallel circuit, here is my first parallel circuit. You can see that it could go along this way or along that way before it returns back to the battery. So since it has two different options it could travel through, since it could go through two different resistors, it must be a parallel. Um, parallel uh, circuits uh, can tend to look a little bit more complicated. Uh, so I think there's a couple more parallels uh, in front of you. If you can find them, great. Um, I will identify them now. Here is one parallel uh, example. You can see that, actually, no, I'm sorry, that's not parallel, that's combination. This one is definitely parallel. Um, and I thought I had one up. Oh, here's the other parallel. Here's my other parallel. It could go along that branch or along that branch. It could go along that branch or along that branch. Don't get, uh, don't get misled by parallel circuits. It doesn't really matter which one's closer to the battery, the power source, since wires have no resistance. They're all effectively the same distance from the power source. Uh, okay, so combination is going to have things where you see there are series components and there are parallel components. So for example, here is a combination uh, right there, uh, the one that I miss, uh, I call the parallel at first, but it's not parallel because you can see it has to either go through B then C, and it has another option where it could go through A then C. Uh, since it's going through more than one resistor, we can see that it's part series, but since it has more than one path, we can see that it's part parallel. That makes it uh, a combination circuit. It actually works out that uh, later on we'll talk about how to look at combination circuits, but you need to recognize whether this is series in parallel or parallel in series. And in this case, what we have is we have a parallel circuit that is in series with C. A and B are in parallel, and then it goes into C. Uh, compare that to, I believe, uh, this one here, in the bottom right corner, uh, where we have, uh, again, a combination circuit. It could go through uh, just A, or it could go through B and C. Uh, and this is actually a series. B and C are in uh, series, and then they're in parallel with A. Uh, so there's a combination circuit. Uh, and then this one's just an awful combination circuit. circuit. D, E, and F are all in series. They're par in parallel with C. A and B are also in parallel. And A and B are in, uh, or I'm sorry, A and B are in series. So A and B are in parallel with C, and then they are in parallel with D, E, F, something like that. Uh, so uh, combination is just series plus parallel. And the problems that you're going to see are really going to be combination circuits. But we're going to start 
by learning what happens with series in parallel first, and then we'll start um, learning how to combine them into those combination circuits. Finally, we have to talk about some bad circuits. Bad circuits have uh, usually one of two problems. Either they are left open, like this one here. That is a bad circuit because electricity just can't flow to A. It doesn't matter how we wire that. If there's a big old break there, no charge will ever go through A. Um, and then uh, you can see that I have a lot of these circuits that have um, uh, switches in them. That means that a lot of them have at least part of their circuit that's as drawn currently um, bad. Like in this one here, this one that I have with uh, my switch, uh, currently B is not part of the circuit. Uh, but if I close the circuit, B is now part of the circuit. I want to remind you guys uh, that that will also have an effect on A. So please don't fall for the trick of thinking that um, that uh, that the switch only affects B. It's going to have effects on everything in the circuit, um, or many of the things in the circuit. Um, let's see which the other one. Uh, we have lots of other ones that have switches in them, which isn't really a problem necessarily. It's just worth discussing that, like uh, for this one that I just uh, put the SW next to, currently A and B are both off. But if I close the switch, A and B would both turn on. Um, the other bad one that I need to mention is this one right here. This one has a short circuit. You can see that there's two paths that uh, charges could go through. They could go through A, resistor A, or they could just go through the wire. Well, since that wire has effectively no resistance, almost all of the current will go through there. And even though actually in, in reality, a trickle would go through A, it would not be enough to even usually measure or uh, make it light up or anything like that. Uh, so be careful of short circuits. Uh, short circuits basically just make it so that whatever um, whatever resistor is bypassed by that wire now effectively just doesn't matter. Uh, we could uh, it would be accurate to draw it now like this uh, as the minute that I added that. Oops, <laughs> not like that. Uh, draw it like that because uh, we've uh, removed that that thing that uh, resistor A from the circuit by short. Uh, short circuiting it. Uh, and now this uh, circuit's totally worthless. Uh, it actually would probably start on fire if uh, it was a powerful enough battery. Uh, so uh, that is the different cir circuit types. Just uh, know how to recognize short circuits, know what they do, and make sure you can recognize open circuits and realize that if a circuit's open because of a switch, something's getting shut off or something's getting by, um, uh, like cut out of the circuit for a, for a moment. Uh, okay, so that is the circuit types video. Thanks for watching.